you're going to see. You guys think you know Keith Montana Thurman, but you guys are just starting to figure me out. I'm going to tell you why this is a blessing in disguise. Because you're the most avoided fighter in the world. If they see this, they'll say, oh, then we can fight him now. And then they're going to realize it's not that easy. I hope so, man. No, I'm serious. So. I'm, I'm serious, too. I should have sat on the ropes for like, you know, three more minutes or something. You know, just make it a little bit more exciting, you know. But um, but I'm not like Floyd. I don't, I don't rope a dope. Um, I don't hold, I don't push people. You know, at the end of the day, man, I, I felt good, man. I boxed good, I boxed clean, smart. You know, we, we switched, we did what we wanted to do. We did what we wanted to do. It was, it was fun, man. That's my arena when I'm in there. And I had a great time today. You look great. I'm your kind of great. What about you and Khan? Me and Khan, man. It's a great fight. A great fight. I'm definitely down for that fight. What would you do differently than Alexander did today? Well, first off, Alexander was a southpaw, and Khan was intelligent to constantly keep his foot on the outside and constantly move to the left. And Devin was following. So anybody who goes and recaps, you'll see that it was a circle fight in favor of Khan. We wouldn't have the same scenario per se because we would be right-hander versus right-hander, and it doesn't matter if he wants to circle to the left or circle to the right, I would be cutting off the ring more. And, you know, obviously I have the power um, to, to stop him. You saw the knockdown today, so it's not like the power's gone anywhere. It's there. You know, you just saw more footwork than me sitting down throwing bombs. You know, ever since you got into the spotlight, you're one of the favorite fighters from the bo hardcore boxing fans. But tonight they were harsh. It was the first time you've heard some booze. Did that change your act? Was, was tonight the first time you kind of were like, screw the fans? Did, did they piss you off? Did... I mean, <clears throat> screw those fans. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Screw those fans. You know what I'm saying? Come, come do me. Come step in the ring. You know what I'm saying? Come step in the ring and come do my job. You know, I mean, Adrian Broner's talked about how much respect we deserve. Floyd Mayweather's talked about how much respect we deserve. How much respect every opponent, every man, doesn't matter if they've gotten knocked out. Everybody deserves respect who is in the ring. If you're outside of the ring, you really need to keep your mouth shut. Well said. So, <laughs> keep. How would you rate your performance tonight overall in comparison to you at the StubHub Center, knocking people out? Like, how comfortable were you in the ring tonight? Oh, I was extremely comfortable, you know. Um, after the first round, I knew there was nothing he could do. Um, I studied him and I realized exactly what I studied was right. It's almost like Muhammad Ali when he said, you know, my boy's flat footed, he ain't gonna be able to touch me, he can't do this and he can't do that, you know. The way we study the tape, I had a feeling that he was gonna do all that herky-jerky movement, it was gonna be awkward. See, if you're throwing combinations at somebody and they're like this, they're, they're southpaw, then that means naturally their head is going to naturally start to lean in this angle, okay? Back, you know, over, it's gonna drop down into this angle. And then as soon as they switch this way, now it's gonna drop down to this angle. And this guy, not only was he switching in front of me, see, it's here, here. Here, see, so it's almost similar to doing this, but this is not being not switching. This is not switching, and it's putting your head on both sides. But he was getting his head on both sides here. But then when he backed up, wow, sure, wow, that it's awkward, man. I mean, I don't know too many fighters that do that. I've never faced a fighter that ever did that. So. I was learning, I was paying attention, but at the end of the day, he had to beat me. I'm holding on to the sure. title. So when he was in front of me and he was moving, but he wasn't throwing punches, I was using my jab, getting off first. I was getting more accurate. I was feinting the jab, coming with little uppercuts, feinting the jab, coming around with little hooks. And because of all his herky-jerkiness, I was more content with landing the blow instead of sitting down and winging the blows, you know? And I mean, like I said, man, I'm a boxer puncher. We're always evolving. You think you know what you're gonna see when you watch Keith one time Thurman, but you don't. All you have to do is show up and, and just prepare for an interesting performance follow, every time. Follow up question. Uh -huh. I, I, I tapped my neighbor around the seventh round and I think I saw your body language say, this is going to a decision. Were you thinking that? Were you thinking that in the seventh, eighth round? Practically because I was going to win the decision, you know. Um, the blueprint at that point was just working so well. It was like fundamental. Two plus two equals four. You can't ever screw that up. 
You know what I'm saying? So why why do something else? You know, Floyd's not the only one that can go 12 rounds. Floyd's not the only one that can make the crowd boo. You know what I'm saying? So there's fight fans. Like I said, man, at the end of the day, you you are watching boxing. You need to know that first. A lot of people say, all right, hey, man, yo, bro, yo, Friday night, Saturday night, man, there's fights. There's fights. Let's go to the fight, man. We're going to watch a fight. All right? First off, you're watching a boxing match, and that boxing match might end up being a fight. You need to understand the formula. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, two plus two always equals four. So you are always watching boxing first, and a fight might occur within the sport of boxing, but you will be watching boxing first. We uh we hear uh, Mir Khan's uh, like I said, man, like literally we, two minutes away. We're intelligent up here, man, and it ain't going nowhere. Let me take this opportunity to thank uh, Showtime. I was, I was he just wanted to damn check up tonight. I was doing it, but I wasn't sitting down with it. I know, I wasn't sitting on it. You that fucking sit down there, man. I saw that. We're really looking forward to next year to be uh, even bigger yeah, than 2014. Continue to be. I appreciate your humbleness with us too, brother. Appreciate yeah, it, all that. Two oh, minutes. Yeah. Two and minutes. then it's just casual fans that don't know the business. You know what I mean? Of course. They don't. They don't understand that it's, of it's a sweet science. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Good stuff, man. We Einstein up in here. Yeah, all day. All right. <laughs>